Welcome back everyone to Let's Play some Fallout New Vegas. You're here with Randall Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drax Craven, and it's time for some smooth jazz. I always appreciate some smooth jazz. Oh yeah. Dog and lobotomized splicing experiment holotape. I like it. Alright. Observatory terminal. Shipping department, unusual shipment. Dr. Richardson, we've just received the latest shipment of dogs for the cyberdog experiment process, but, well, frankly, I think our suppliers screwed us. The animals must be basically feral. Every time we get close to the shipping kennels, they let out with the most god-awful hissing and, well, rattling is the only way I can describe it. Please advise, should we open the kennels or just send them back? Please advise. So, at Dr. Richardson's request, we open one of these kennels from our latest shipment. The dog inside, and I use that term very loosely, appeared to be suffering from a truly horrendous case of mange. And upon being released, it immediately attacked, killed, and attempted to swallow whole Specialist Acres. Luckily, the situation has, for now, at least contained itself, as SPC Acres was a very large man, and the creature has choked to death. Does anyone know anything about this shipment? Please advise. In light of the large number of fatalities due to the latest shipment of experimental test subjects, the shipping department is going into lockdown. I give you my personal assurance that as soon as this plague of monsters has been dealt with, I will work overtime to get your deliveries to you in a timely and efficient manner, as I am currently the only surviving member of the shipping department. However, there are still maybe some delays. Until then, Dr. Callus and X-13 is the pass card for the area. Skippy, the sole survivor. Regarding shipping department lockdown. In our last supervisor meeting, we discussed the possible benefits of the small shipping accident. We are considering studying the unexpected specimens' behavior by releasing them into our test area before removing them from the X-8 facility. The shipping department will remain in lockdown until a decision has been reached. Dr. Adam Figgis, MD, PhD, DVM, DDM, DD, test supervisor. The fuck. Gotta take that pencil. It was important. Alright, apparently this is not the way into the testing area. That's fine. I find this to be okay. I find it hard for me to give a shit about anything listening to smooth jazz. I'm sorry, I'm a sucker. What can I say? Alright, this must lead to the residential testing area. Right, I think I had to go through the regular testing once or something here. Oh, I'm so confused. Right, no, this door leads to multiple areas. As an enter residential cyber dog guard test. Beware of dog. Oh boy. And then the door leads someplace else. Please don't tell me I need a shovel. Huh. Ow, fuck. Back off, dog. God damn it, Gabe. You're huge. Cool. Funny. Yes. Come on. Seven. There we go. Gabriel's bark. Shut the fuck up, Boris. What the fuck? God damn it! Fuck off, Mobius. I'm busy. Out. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that was all a thing. That was an ordeal. Fuck off. Jesus. We done now? Can I go home now, please? Where's my proton axe? Give me that thing. I'm gonna fucking... Uh, eat some blood sausage and then probably die? That's what I'm going with. Alright, there we go. I'm ready for robots. Look at this fucking thing. Yeah. You won't escape me. Yeah, it's super effective against robots. It sends them flying. And despite my low strength score, I'm able to do an impressive amount of damage. Fortunately, my melee skill is so awful that I can't unleash any killer moves. But that's fine. Yeah! Who needs killer moves when I have killer friends? Oh shit, can I move now? Thank you, mysterious stranger. Thank you, game. 60 energy cells, sweet. All right, let's raise that energy weapons. I can't think of anything else that needs raising in particular. I have, I have more than enough science and more than enough speech. All right, cool. Let's get the hell out of here, shall we? Dear God. Now we have Gabe's bark that should... Son of a bitch. Really having more of a problem with the Robo Scorpions. Huh. Aha! Attention, Big Mountain. There's a 95% chance of clear skies interrupted with artillery. Oh shit! Oh fuck! God damn it! Both my legs appear to be horrifically crippled, and now I'm getting attacked by giant killer dogs. Someone just. Fucking end me. Can someone end my torment? Alright. Fuck! God damn it, Doge! Go, my minion! Stay Dear God, someone help. Okay, good. Now the dog can't fucking trip me anymore. No, Mobius, I'm busy trying to not die. Alright, give me that axe back. I suspect it will be my best chance at fighting these creatures. Come on. Come on. Round two, Robo Scorpions. I like how they turned the rad scorpion into like a really dangerous, cool enemy. I forget they explode when they die. I know what you're saying. How could you forget that they explode when they die? That's like the whole point. Shut the fuck up. God damn it! God damn it! Fucking night nice stalkers! Son of a bitch! Fuck this fucking place! If you if you you put that sonic emitter down, you put that sonic emitter down, boy. All right, that's it. Jesus Christ. What a fucking day it's been. Give me that fucking blood sausage. Jesus Christ. Are we done? Are we fucking done now? No, we're not. These shitheads want a piece. Damn it. Come around the corner, boys. Come on. Say hello. I want to say hello. Little bitch. Hmm. 
Nah, I won't hit him if I shoot him in the head. Aim for the torso. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's been a hell of a day, hasn't it? God damn. I kind of fix with my caravan shotgun the quick way to check is to see what the caravan shotgun like if you try to repair the caravan shotgun what it can be repaired with all right I got my superheated Saturday night fist got my superheated Saturday night live I'm ready to go ready to go for a round Fuck. god damn anyone else out there want to kill me not having Eddie's sensors sucks that's what's really bringing me down if eddie were around none of this shit would be happening i'd be like oh man there's something over there pepsi a dna slicing lab oh no i know what you're saying but just don't go in i gotta go in man i gotta let's go splice some fucking dna so i can destroy myself Oh god. This this all looks bad. Do I hear Cazadors? I think I hear Cazadors. Oh shit! Ah fuck shit. <laughs> fuck me. No 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 no. See, I'm all good. I'm back. Yes! You see, the thing about DNA Venger per granted. Studying the abominations created at the Big MT has granted you a damage bonus, plus 10% against Cazadors. We'll need that. The big thing about Cazadors is that you have to suppress your natural instinct. Like, the natural instinct in, like, this sort of combat, in sort of Fallout-esque combat, is to backpedal. You don't want to backpedal. Backpedaling against Cazadors is a recipe for destruction and death. You just gotta go in. Go in swinging. Because they just can't deal with an onslaught of attacks. In a way that um, other creatures either can or, like, the best scenarios just back up quickly. Yeah. And if you can deal an overwhelming amount of damage to a Cazador, you can... You can uh, sort of stun lock it but uh yeah fuck these fucking things also their poison sucks laser rifle i'll take it thanks friend you're deceased but you're a friend Ooh, casador eggs i could probably give those to red lucy at some point i'll keep those for later oh, there's more of the bastards in here yo what's up Specimen 73? Stay away, Specimen 73. Stay the fuck away. I don't know. DNA Avenger Mark II. Atomic Valence Tri Radii Oscillator. You fucking what, mate? Oh, Jesus Christ. My poor fucking parts. Alright. The cool thing is, you can wear this over your hat. And repair it with basically all light headgear. And it does this. It increases your endurance and increases your ability to regenerate health. Hot damn. Alright, it would appear that the... Uh, what the fuck? How did he... Okay, never mind. It appears that the uh, blazing Saturnite fist is super effective against Cazadors. I've never had that easy a time taking down Experiment 73. Sorry, Specimen 73. Jesus Christ. We did it, folks. We done did it. Let's move on. Now we can fucking leave. Jesus. Smolder, you fuckers. Do not approach the pylons. 
Pylons are the glowing things. Also, do not approach a fallen pylon. If you see a fallen pylon, all security. Oh god. If you see a fallen pylon, something done fucked up. Oh god damn it. Welcome to Securitron Deconstruction! I assure you, things here will only get worse. Son of a bitch. How did I hit him in the leg? That's not to ask. Oh shit, there's some Securitrons. Back that away. So I'm gonna loot these guys, turn around, and then go kick some Securitron ass. Now here's the question. Can I fix the Protronic Reversal Axe with the hatchet? I can't. Which is depressing, but not unexpected. Yo, what's up? Any Securitrons want a piece? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Turn around. Damage Securitron Mark III. Come on. You want a piece? Fuck you. Also, their faces are all messed up. It just looks like some sort of weird misshapen creature, man. Also, it's utterly unable to communicate in any way. Nine millimeter rounds. I imagine that this is Zero's work. You know how he is with machines. Strange that he's a roboticist when he destroys everything he touches. But, you know, whatever. It's it's a useful talent to have, especially in the big empty. Huh. Looks like Ulysses was here. Maybe to figure out some sort of Securitron weakness? Who knows? I have already been spotted. I didn't. I took a step into the fucking building, and it's like, nope. I know you're here. You go squish now. Ow! It's always the goddamn legs. Fuck off. Why can't I walk in a straight line? No, officer. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. Fuck you. I did not mean to drink that black coffee, but yeah, whatever. I got a case of the jitters now, but you know, it will help me. Oh, give me that healing poultice. My poor, poor uh, perception. It is now officially in the shitter. It's gone. Bread gym. All right, ready to go back. Who's firing these goddamn grenades? That's the question. Where you at? Secure on Mark 1. Okay. Hmm. That still doesn't explain the miniature Securitron that's in the sink. Oh. Huh. Berserk Securitron Mark III? I. Is this the big boy? Here he is. Yeah, look out. He hits like a truck. And he just fires rockets all over the fucking place. Pardon me. I'm just going to hide in this room. Ah! I can hear the barrage incoming. Are both my legs crippled? Nah, just the one. Just the one for now. All right. Yeah! I can dodge a missile. If I can dodge a missile, I can dodge a ball. Muggy upgrades parts production. Unfortunately, I have not yet activated Muggy, but you know, I'll be ready when I have. 
All right, that'll do for this episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. If you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things like make more videos, start streaming, hire an artist to make cool shit, and do the coolest thing I could think of, blow up a giant berserk robot. But until then, good night.